The views or opinions expressed on this show are solely their own and do not necessarily represent the views or opinions of Zonse Live. Radio Not Season 2, here we come. <laughs> Something Radio. My name is Flipping Page and I'm here with Ty Frequency. Yo. It's been a while. It's been a minute, bro. How you been, bro? I've been nice. I've been nice. I think like the last, yeah, man, I think I the, last, like, the last couple of months have been, you know, very nice. They've been very chill. Yeah, I can know? tell, eh? What you mean? Life's you treating you well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> My God! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, man, welcome to season two of Something season Radio, two, man. Bro. Uh, it's been a, it's been locked up coming. Jeez, yo, jeez, glad to be here. I'm mm-hmm. uh, glad to be back. And yo, a lot of niggas been clowning since we left. <sighs> it's been a tough couple of months, man. Yo, it's man, been a tough couple of months. I think, like for me, it's just like that. Like I couldn't talk about certain things, you know. Like because everyone like was expecting us to talk about them on the show, so every time we tweeted about it, it was always like, "Yo, when's the show coming back?" But we're like, "Yo, guys, we're just trying to express ourselves." We don't. You yeah, know? you, you see your tweets now, eh? Uh, it's, it's, everyone's their tweets, man. I Is actually it? think everyone's their tweets. Is it? No, well, not really, but like you know, the, the bad ones. <laughs> the, oh, the, bad, yeah, the bad ones. The, the bad tweets are actually you. <laughs> <laughs> the the drunk tweets. The, uh, no, that's alcohol. You do, you, do, you, <laughs> do you do you tweet drunk? Uh, barely. You don't have time barely. to be on Twitter. When you're drunk. I, I don't have time. Do to you be even on drink? My phone. Well, oh. What what is al- al- <laughs> what, what's <laughs> what's what's alcohol? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Oh, cool. Anyway, so much has been going on. So much, it's a lot has been going on. So man. many, so many artists have dropped since we were here. Yeah, uh, so much has been going on. Yeah. Uh, first thing that I would like to talk about is Grievous Grievous EP. Why issue? Why 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 is that the first thing we're talking about? Because yo, it's the maddest one that I heard, and I wish we were recording when we, when it came facts, out. Facts, facts, yeah. facts. It was very funk different. Your feelings. Like, funk your feelings, bro. Funk your funk how you feel, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad, bro. It was a bad, it's it's a bad, bad. It was intro. A bad Tough. Yeah, Tough. Lucio is a bad one. Eh? Lucio is a bad one. Grizzly is a bad one. Grizzly is a bad one. Grizzly was a bad one. It was different. I think like what I liked about it was the fact that it was very unexpected. I mean, like, I mean, we all know what Grizzly can produce and what he can make, but at the end of the day, it was still something very different. At least for me, because I've heard his first project, mm-hmm. and this one was just it just had oomph, you know. I think. I mean, it's too, it's too. I don't know if it's too early to say, but like, in his career, out of yeah. no, what, what about is it too soon to say in his career? No, 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 no. This is just in general, just like Malawi music in general. I feel like it was it's top three projects out of Malawi this year. This year, easily facts, easily facts. You easily. know, what? I like the risks that he took because yeah. the sound he was making it was, bro, very unconventional, yeah. bro. The facts. funk, bro. He facts. came with the funk, bro. Facts. And he funked it F- up. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been a great year for music it's in general. A, I think worldwide. it's been a great year for um, Malawi and music. Yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. Yeah, more yeah. artists have put out projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I feel like more people are paying attention now, which is very, very important because um, a lot of people were making music for their friends. Uh, but now, for the longest time. <laughs> for the yeah. longest time. But now I feel like people are actually making music because, you know. They gotta make music and that's what they're trying to do, you know. Boom. Mm. Boom, 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 boom. Uh talking about music still, uh, more projects that have come out since we've been away. Brenner Boy put out his was that his second album? Yeah. Uh second album. Yeah, second album. Was I'd it? like to think it was the second album. Not the third? I think the first one was the one with um Devil in California. That was an album, right? That was an album. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then there was uh African Giant. Which did well yeah. as well, uh, broke into the international market, and then now he's put out twice as tall. Mm. Bomb! Like the features on there, yeah, amazing. Man, it's high. Hmm? It's high. It's high. Today it's high. It's high. It's, you know, it's like you know what's crazy? Like the fact that a lot of people are releasing music, mm-hmm. and the fact that I'm not listening to Burner Boy's album anymore. That's yeah, because fact. there's a lot of music coming out. Exactly. Not because it's not good. Yeah, it is, good. So many it is good. That's what I'm saying. That's that's the point that I was trying to make. The mm-hmm. fact that a lot of mu- a lot of people, a lot of artists are releasing music, and it's so hard for you to listening to listen to an album that dropped like two months ago. I mean, you could yeah, still facts. find your like 
deal two or three songs on the album that you're gonna play once in a while mm-hmm. but it's 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 so different now you know back in the day you could listen to an album throughout the year i had a favorite album that i like was listening to, to like like yeah, yeah, man. But, but it's now been so like, much it's, music, man. Tory Lanez drops. It's been drops. so much music, man. Tory uh, Lanez drops. Case. He's got shot someone apparently. Uh, he claims he uh, didn't. He claims he didn't. Uh, dropped an album to explain the situation. Fire album. Fire album. I must say, Still. fire album. Fire yeah. album. That's also one of my favorite. The weekend albums. dropped. Too. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, That's also one of my favorite albums out this year. But should, I'm, uh, I'm not like looking. party next door drops. Oh man, damn! The hell? Been... <laughs> Casper so, invest drops. Casper drop, man. Casper's got a son, bro. Casper Kasp- got a child. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only Crazy. one who thinks like Casper had a child just because you know, like you as a rapper, you need to reach a certain level where you have a child, what? and then uh, that's the thing. Yeah, it's a thing. How many kids is issue? Uh, Young thug guy. <laughs> the purpose, bro. What are you no, saying? but no, no. But I, what, this is what I'm saying. There's um, there's there's certain rappers who reach a certain level in their career where they think for them to appeal to a certain type of audience, they need to do certain things. And maturity, pretty much. Yeah, maturity, pretty much. Because like your audience is really gonna take you serious if you have a child. Yeah, I mean, it's I a mean, thing. It, it's I a mean, natural thing. I, mean, I think AK, it's a thing. AK had his kid, you know, do yeah, and his music changed after that. Yeah. yeah, his music changed for real. His music changed after has, that. Has Casper's was... music changed? <laughs> <laughs> when the album was cut, the album was cut at any minute any now minute. because <laughs> he was, was waiting ready. for the child to be born. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. This was also intentional. Do you think, do you think, he literally created an album. Do you think? Oh, do you think he created the whole album because it's cut any minute now? Take it's gonna be minute now, Take but yeah, I think um, it, was, it was a good album. I had my reservation about it. Uh, I remember I had a, a little argument with uh, Mac about mm. that, because like he heard it for the first yeah, time was and Mac. he was like, "Yo, this this is this shit." Who's Who's Mac? <laughs> this isn't too bad. Don't assume niggas know <laughs> this is Mac Dalama, go check out episode six. Yeah, seven, five, no, four. Six. He doesn't even know, bro. <laughs> yes. But anyway, yeah. But yeah, go we, check out season one to find out who Mac is. Yeah, but but yeah. but yeah, we had we had that conversation because I was feeling some type of way about it, and she was like, "Yo, no, bro. Like, listen to this shit. It's actually really dope." And over time, it actually grew on me. Uh, Did but it? I'm I'm, st- I'm still not listening to it right now. Mac, that was a dope <laughs> album. Mac, that was a dope album. It was a dope album. I think it was, was a dope I. album. I think that was a dope album for the for for your father. <laughs> <laughs> I think for your father, you have made a better album. No man, no man. It, it made sense. It made sense for the time that you know had had a lot of good features. Had a boogie feature, which I thought was dope. Um, yeah, man. Nasty C dropped an album. Nasty man. C dropped a fire album. Did got he drop an of, album when we were out? Yeah, yeah. Uh, got a lot of criticism. There's did a bunch it? of yeah. I don't, yeah, think, it, I don't think it got. I like, think a lot. Of, I think a lot I of people. I think Casper's like album it. got a lot of criticism more than Nasty C's album. True, yeah. but I feel like Casper's album deserved it compared to Nasty C's. I feel like honestly, <laughs> uh, in his lost tapes, uh, the thing, the the singles that he dropped, he yeah. just released, he gave away. Like he had Made some songs that were yeah, some songs that could have made the album. But you know but what? That's didn't. the thing, though. If some of those tracks that were on the lost tape ended up on the actual album. People would have still complained about it. There's always people that are gonna complain, but it's, it's it's just it's it's that's what the, that's what the, that's what music is about. Not everyone's gonna like it. Facts. Not everyone's gonna like it. But I think he dropped a fire album. It made sense. I think I think the two TIG uh, features were unnecessary. The two TIG features were very very unnecessary. And yeah, one why are we fun. featuring? Yeah, why are we featuring TI twice? Uh, you who's, know who's TI? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but like I really was expecting like a young thug a young thug collaboration in there. I was, yeah, that you know, dope. I was like, yo, dog, come on, it's nice to see the Ghana. Come on, do something, right. bro. Do something. Uh, what you mean he can't afford it, bro? Well, what you mean he can't afford? It? He's paying TI for. Feature. What you mean? Nah, can't I, don't, I don't think he's paying TI for a feature. What you don't think he's paying TI? What? Nah, bro. Nah, nah, TI is paying us to see for that feature. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It was really crazy how he was pushing the track. You know? Yeah, TI. Yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah, pushing the, the track. He was performing in stuff, and I'm like, boy, this uh, sounds like an African boy, bro. Yeah, but it's so crazy. It's so crazy that that African music is there now. Like, remember the song we listened to earlier today? Timberland doing uh, Timberland and Niniola, bro. bro. Like, 
Timberland on, was on Niniola's album and no vocals whatsoever and it's an yes. Afro beat. Yep. You know. Backup so vocals. yeah, like I think I think this still backs up our point that Africa is like the eighth thing right now. And yeah, you know what? I saw um Wizard Jakalasi has written a book mm-hmm. and he's saying Africa's time is soon and in my head I'm like yo Africa's time is now but I'm keen to see what his book is about yeah, I, mean, I, I yet, think I I'm think like, I should read it first and then we, we yeah, can yeah but like I'm just saying that. about the title uh, like you yeah. just said Africa's time is now yeah. but he thinks well, Africa's yeah. time's been, bro. Africa's time's been white people have been copying our shit for the longest time it's like oh, is it about race so It's anyway, tips always been about race. It's always been about race. Hey, Black Lives Matter still, race. man. Hey, one time. Yeah. One time. Tips drops. Uh, Tips for broken, drops. For broken ears. Yeah, man. Hey, she's been making rounds she's too, been, eh? She's, she's been making rounds, you know? I think... Um, uh, yeah, man. I, I don't want to talk a lot about Thames. That's like yeah, we know how you feel about Thames. That's like my... That's my album, bro. Mm. That's my album. Most bro. latest one. Whiskey. Yeah. Oof. Big features on there. Huge. Mm-hmm. Huge, huge features on there. Um, the Damien Marley feature was a setup, though. Because hey, I mean, <laughs> the Skepta feature was a setup. Uh, Tem's feature Tem's was a choice. <laughs> <laughs> he set himself up, bro. But hey, you know what? This yo. is what this is what this hey, is what music is about, bro. Like. You, you can always be greater than the next artist there's always gonna be an artist who's greater than you mm. you know mm. uh, yeah, but I've been looking forward to that Whiskey and Brenner Boy feature like Sponono didn't yeah. wasn't like it for yeah, me yeah yeah Sponono was yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. but it's good yeah. it's, yeah. <laughs> it's dope it's dope uh, it's, it's dope that he, he yeah. actually had Brenner on his album I think I think yeah. it was it was very very important for the culture in Africa yeah. um because I feel like yeah they are the great they're one of the two greatest artists out of Africa out of Africa true. right now right now I uh, still know David Ofiche on the album <laughs> still uh, yeah you know what it is you know yeah, what it is that I mean I'm not, they, I push, they push numbers you know the beef push numbers it's like aka yeah. custom and, and yeah, yeah man yeah mm-hmm. I think like we've, we've gotten to a level where we've just accepted that that's what it is it is what it is and yeah, yeah man Yeah, but I've seen like a bunch of like performances where they've done like yeah performances together they've caught out each other. Yeah. Which is dope. That's crazy. Anyway. Dude, we like we li- we talked about like music but um I think like we only talked about one Malawian album which yeah. what what what, what else dropped? Dead Devils dropped. Dead were we off as well? Yeah. When Dead Devils dropped. Dead Devils dropped. I think we're on. Did we no way. It? No way. No? Mm-mm. Dead Devils dropped. Uh, yeah, man. Dead <laughs> Devils <laughs> dropped. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Devil's Drop. No, but like, yo, no, I f- we need to talk about it. We need to talk about Devil's Drop. I'm not saying we don't need to talk about it. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, it's but way, we do. It's it. out there. <laughs> we do need to talk day. about it. How do you feel about day. it? I feel like it was about time. And I feel like maybe it's pressure because a lot of artists have been dropping like, yeah. projects because Dead Devils have been on the scene from time. But yeah. they never released like a project. Yeah. From the dark side, is, it was like a years ago. Yeah. Yeah, so they finally put out a project. But I feel like it just wasn't it for me, I guess. Yeah. I, I listened to more. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing less or more. <laughs> for real? But yeah. That's what. That's what. That's what. Yeah, you got, you got executive you produ- Oh, actually, the time we're talking about it, we're yeah. talking about oh, how actually, we did. Is the executive yeah. producer. Yeah. On it. That was before it dropped. Yeah. Yeah. Before it dropped, but it finally dropped. Yeah. And physics was the executive producer, mm-hmm. and it's very evident. Uh, event, events, <laughs> <laughs> events. Uh, <laughs> there was a sneak exchange, two actually. Quest uh, dropped, bro. Quest, quest dropped. I mean, I'm sorry. But sneak yeah. exchange. <laughs> <laughs> there was a sneak <laughs> exchange, drop. part one and part two. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about uh, that? I mean, I mean, <coughs> we we covered it both times yeah. I don't know I don't know what happened as Once Alive the part two never came <laughs> <laughs> part two never came out Once Alive never dropped so man they went on hard you know what <laughs> these guys are so smart hey, I feel dude, like dude, do you know what they're gonna dude, do do you know what they're gonna do do you know what these guys are gonna do do you know do you what these guys are gonna do do before this episode drops I bet they're gonna drop this, the second second episode of Sneak that's what you're hoping no I'm not I'm not I'm not I lost hope 
I did. <laughs> I did. I did. We lost. We lost. We lost those fans. <laughs> <laughs> those fans, bro. We lost those fans. Come out like we lost those fans. Before season four, yeah, like, you remember that time when we sneak exchange? But yeah, the sneak exchange, the sneak exchange was a was a was a good vibe. Um, still have some reservations about it, um, especially the curating part of it. I feel mm. like. This is a great opportunity. If you're if you're creating events, you have a dope opportunity to do what no one has done before. And mm-hmm. just because you're doing it, because just because you're the first one to do it, doesn't mean that. I, I don't want to say it should be whack, but like it, it doesn't mean that it was it was nice, it was dope. But I just feel like it could have been, been better. more. Yeah, could instead, have been more. it yeah. could have been more. Those more, more, it could have been more about the sneaker culture. It could have been like, more about the sneaker culture. The sneaker heads. You know, and like I, I, I do understand because these are my homies. These are these are niggas that I know that were planning the event. Yeah. And it's a lot to it's a lot to do an event always. It's yeah. always a lot to do an event, but, but I feel like I feel like if you're gonna pick a theme, yeah, then you gotta stick to it. Stick to it. Yeah, you gotta stick like to it. It starts from the music. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of house there's a lot music. of Amabiano. There's a lot let of Amabiano, lie. and I'm like, that was, let me not lie, that was okay. Yeah, but yeah, but, but it's it's a lot more than that. It's a lot more than that, and I hope that as time is like going, people are really gonna improve and really. There's there's also a lot of heels at the sneak exchange. Nah, man, the first one. Girls came in heels. Yeah, man, for real. You ain't looking, bro. Yeah, hey, I was. Because I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to look at that. You don't look at feet. You don't have a thing for feet. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I mean, so it's I know, important, I know, I know. <laughs> but I'm not. I, I was saying, I'm trying to look at your feet. <laughs> now, as a, one of the first things you gotta look at is mileage, bro. Yeah, but also, <laughs> where are you coming from, bro? <laughs> but where are the, but, bro, but also where are the your sneaker shoes, exchange? Where, your where shoes, where your, where feet, the sneaker exchange? your feet. Yeah, okay. Tell where the, the sneaker exchange? And we really need to look at sh- feet, Sne- shoes, sneakers, sneakers, <laughs> feet, yeah. feet. But it's the same thing. But yeah, man. Um, curating. I think curating is very important, and that is something that people really need to take serious. If you're gonna make your event thematic, stick to the theme. Make sure that you're going all out. You've yep. got very, you've got. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities in Malawi to try out different things. You know, mm-hmm. you don't really have to always limit yourself to a party, cause like it's always gonna be a party. It doesn't yeah. matter if you hammer an event. If I do an event next weekend, it's gonna be a party. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a party. But I still need to add like certain aspects to the events to make that, it. That's what makes it exactly, special. exactly, exactly. But was, but still, was a shout, out, shout out, shout out, to, shout, shout out to, to the me, niggas. Shout out to yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, the gang yeah man All looking time. forward to the next one definitely yeah looking definitely forward. Looking forward umami to land bro bro honestly let me say this mm-hmm. the first umami that i went to blanta no in else uh-huh. i was late yeah and i found the event was done so it doesn't count okay blanta one honestly underwhelmed i mean there was nice flowers still <laughs> <laughs> but um as it got late uh they didn't have lights outside yeah and some girl almost actually lost her life. She could have lost her life. Bro, because I almost tripped. tripped on one of those poles. The bro, ten the poles. Ten poles bro. Yeah, bro, it's crazy. Me too, bro. It's crazy. Me too, bro. Me too, bro. We left early as well because yeah, we we're did. like, ah, come on. Yeah, we, we did. The whole vibe, um, but the, that was one though. But you know what? This is Whew. this is the same thing that I was. Hey, this is. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, a, <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> it was something with you, right? <laughs> Yo. But yeah, this is the same thing that I was talking about curating. I feel like curating is very, very important, and people should understand the concept of curating and making events. You know, mm. it's 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 easy. It's it's okay. Easy. It's hard. It, it, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Mm. But once you get in there, and once you get people to come to your event, that's the easiest point. I feel like that's the easiest part. The hardest part is the curating and making sure that everything is in, you know, everything is. Right. right. But do you think? Yeah. Do you think? Do you think? We've been having these conversations where we feel like, for example, Summer Jam. Yeah. They did so many, and it got to a point where like, okay, these are these are a lot of one event. Yeah. Right. Do you think Omami is heading towards that? Because I feel like I, I, I saw just today that they're doing a the college, a college or something, something. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. you're guaranteed an audience there, so it's yeah. not going to be a thing where people didn't attend. But like, but you know what? Don't Maybe you think it takes a bit from the event. I feel like the Omami land at the lake by the lake Ooh. is a dope idea. Yeah, but I'm not so sure about turning it into a college, college event. 
Uh, but the thing is, it's gonna work. But, uh, I'm, I'm not saying it's not gonna work. Yeah. But like, what does that do for the brand? Because there's certain okay. people, there's certain people, like respectable people that go to Umami because no. it's a it's a food fair, yeah. right? It's a food festival. If it turns into a college fair, yeah. then it's not the same thing. I think it's if you a, ask me, it's not the I same think thing. I think I think maybe that's their business model. I don't I don't know whether it's a business model or not, but maybe that's their business model. Maybe they really want to be in people's faces like that. And we're in an environment where it works. Understand? Mm. Those guys could be doing it every two weeks and it could work. But over time, mm. wait, 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 wait. Over time, over time, things always go. We we've, we've seen this over. We've seen this with summer jam we've seen this with sand festival you mm-hmm. know it's it, uh, <laughs> yeah yeah okay anyway <laughs> there was a issue uh mixology in blanta same yeah, day um, same weekend as uh, uh umami as yeah 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 uh, that was dope that it was, was dope. very very dope it yeah. was different um it was different. indeed a problem out of like Oh, I've been to a lot of events this year. Not not a lot because of Corona, but out of the events that I've been to this year, Mixology was probably the most curated event that I went to. Facts. Yeah, it was, and uh, I, I I think that's what I'm gonna talk about a lot this season, curating, because I think that's very important, and people really need to understand the concept of curating and making things a little perfect. You know, you want it won't be perfect, but the least you can do is try to make it perfect and try to make it bearable i mean it's bearable it's a party but like try to make it memorable don't don't make memorable don't make drinks the main activity at the event exactly because drinks will always be there mm. drinks will always be there but give people something to remember take away, yeah. something mm. to remember don't don't ever take that away from them you know so mixology was uh mixology was a top event yeah. Mixology was a top event. Shout out to Trappe. Shout, Shout out to Trappe. Shout, Shout, Shout out to Terry. Shout out to Kenobi. Oh man, that was nice. The and then they had the view the next weekend. Bruh. The view, yeah? Level 6. Yeah, level 6 rooftop. That was dope. Jeez. That was dope. That was Jeez. dope. Yeah. Makes me, makes me miss Planter, bro. Just a little bit. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, anyway, moving Lucius on. Banda <laughs> yeah. announced a uh, special advisor to the president. To the president on arts and culture and yeah. I feel like arts and culture over the years has changed so much for real and it's very unfair to have someone <coughs> as old as he is <laughs> representing uh, a, a, a platform a system that's, a system a system that's, that's so young yeah. you know what I mean like he doesn't it's bigger than Music, yeah, arts and culture is bigger yeah. than music, it's beyond that, all yeah. right. So, anyway, I was saying he's proved me right because he doesn't really care about personally, yeah, looking at the lineup for Sunfest. We're talking about Sunfest now, yeah, we're getting into that, okay, yeah, okay. The lineup for Sunfest just proves to me that this person doesn't really care about the growth of the culture. Right, I understand target audience and all yeah. of that, and how you have to maintain that. Yeah. Right, but you need to have a balance. Right. Looking at the lineup from last year and this year, look like the same lineup. The same lineup, it just did. a different poster. You did, you know what I mean? And did. a lot of us were mad, yeah. but we're not the target audience, so it's whatever, right? Do you know what I was mad about the most though? Mm. When we're like same lineup t- issue, um, I addressed it on Twitter. And mm-hmm. I was like, yo, guys, come on. This looks like the same lineup. I was like, mm-hmm. last year and the other year. And mm-hmm. the other year. And the other year. <laughs> and the other year. Before. Yeah. And I was like, yo, come on, guys. Like, why does this look like the same lineup? And mm-hmm. one of the event organizers was like, oh, no. This is just like the first lineup of artists. Chan, 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 chan. And I'm like, yo, dog. If you're g- going to create this platform for the arts and culture in Malawi, <laughs> curating, <laughs> curating, <laughs> yeah. curating. Yeah. If you're gonna create this platform for for artists in Malawi, make it clear. In the nine, you go to the festival, they are local music. Mm. I, I, I don't want to call it like, but it is local music, right? Yeah, it is. It is local music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't. But like, if you're gonna make it seem like. It's, it's inclusive of certain 
you know a certain demographic of music or just like certain types of artists to be there then just make sure that they are there because at the end of the day it looked like the same lineup that was there like two three years ago and that's just very disappointing for me i wasn't even very like i wasn't keen to go after i saw the lineup the mm, first yeah. time it's like <sighs> it's just another weekend bro you know it's just another weekend and i was very very disappointed especially in him I was very very disappointed. No, I wasn't disappointed. Yeah. I wasn't surprised. Just confirmed <laughs> what I had been feeling before. <laughs> This guy doesn't care about the growth of the arts and yeah. culture thing. He he's he made it, bro. He, he made, made it. He, he reached did. where bro, his Lucius advisor Panda, to yeah. to the yeah. flipping president. Yeah. You get me? So, yeah. he's got nothing to prove. Reventing the wheel, mad, but yo, bro, today. Hold on. I was so mad. I was so mad ah. because when he, the lineup came out and there were no female representation, there was no female representation. His comments on Facebook pissed me off, right? Mm. And I tweeted about it, and somebody was like, "Yo, dude, don't take it too serious, bro. Relax." What? And I'm like, "What?" And his comment was, uh, "There's what uh, Anglican voice." Or what? Yeah, the Anglican voices and oh. the majority of the choir is like females. Come what? on, are you serious? Blood. Are you serious? Yo, it's, that was that was yo. That's, and it's the same thing that I was complaining about today on Twitter when I saw Miko they say that it was a perfectly organized event, but there were just some things that we yeah, could not control. Really like, the come on, guys, what do you mean? What oh, do you so, mean? So, 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 no, was, the, fun, the funniest thing I heard was yeah, the rain. I die now. And I do it. Because I want to buy what you say, dude. Now I'm going to do this. And I wouldn't want to sing it, guys. I'm sending rain. Either that or Diamond, you know. Yeah, no, Diamond, Diamond was, always uh, makes it rain. Yeah, yeah, and why did, they bring, right. why did they bring Diamond again, bro? Like, does it make sense, bro? Yo, bro, there's a bunch of artists that you can should actually we, should get. Should we even go into the riot? Like, people swimming bottles? <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Man, like, it was embarrassing, bro. Like, embarrassing, bro. embarrassing <laughs> event for real. Because like, I really don't understand, and I don't understand what these migos, the guys were saying about. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. There's a the disclaimer at the, at the start. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not. But yeah, I really was mad. I really, I legit was mad when I when I saw them tweet that earlier today. Uh, where they were talking about let me even read that tweet I'm so mad bro like it's like <laughs> right there bro it was right there I was so mad let me not lie those guys come on mm. Deezy Deezy but anyway basically these guys were saying it was a perfectly organized event and uh Liars. <laughs> this guy said Monday, this guy, Monday was doing borders <laughs> This guy said It was a perfectly Organized event And it's things Just part of control Because whatever happened Was beyond, beyond their control Yeah like, But I'm like no, Come ha- on Having like, terrible sound what, 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 How is having your terrible si- Sound Beyond your control Yeah How is that How, is, how, the how, the how is you Putting speakers On the stage And the shading Isn't enough Because the rain Is falling down And then the rain Goes into the sneakers and uh, sneakers, speakers, speakers S- yeah. and then it blows up the speakers, and then you're saying it was out of your control. Come it on, it, it I don't want to go into the details because there's certain information that I know about this whole, like this whole speaker information. But but basically, it was cheap sound. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to get like proper proper quality, sound because yeah, because yeah, quality sound comes with quality engineers and comes with quality a quality team that takes care. of That takes oh, care the, of the, the equipment, of the yeah. equipment, you know. Mm-hmm. If it's raining, they're going to set it down, put it in a good place. If they, you know, the, all this is it's, this is basic festival management. And I, I was we were having a conversation with Miko yesterday, and we were talking about how, bro, I don't think we have a, a real festival in Malawi, bro. Yeah, I don't think we have yeah, enough bro, time to even address this yeah, topic. Bro, we don't because there's that issue with blackjack and his story and where that came from. Yeah. Hey, look it up on Twitter. It's funny. You like it. You like it. You like do you want to do you want to talk about nope. that? Because nope. <laughs> Basically, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> moving right on, we have more hot topics. <laughs> mm. Oh, I labeled this as a hot topic, but I feel like that was a hot topic. It was, bro. <laughs> anyway, jumping right into it. Uh, Malawi Hip Hop Awards 2020, the first edition of first the first ever Malawi Hip Hop Awards. Yeah. I like the idea of having um, Hip Hop Awards mm. because now we're we're focusing on one genre, yeah. right? Which is 
where we need to be heading where it's not just a general thing because now if you have like a if you have UMP you have best group then you have black missionaries comp- uh, uh, going against Mario Bros and that sort of thing it doesn't make sense right so it's dope to have um, specialized awards yeah. for different genres so then you can have a uh, Afro Pop Awards where yeah. we have and I enjoy swooping everything home. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I was going to get them all, I'm going to get them all. I'm going to get them all. But anyway, um, there were so many mixed feelings yeah. about the uh, nominations list. Mm. Um, I think since it's uh, Hip Hop Awards, a lot of Hip Hop heads expected it to be, expected it, it expected to it. be uh, an underground yeah. uh, award. <laughs> But at the end of the day, even if it's rap, even if it's hip hop, yeah. numbers and statics, statistics matter. Numbers yeah. don't lie, bro. They've never done before. Is that proper English? Unless uh, it's the Malawi Electoral Commission playing with the numbers, <laughs> then they estimate they do lie. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely <laughs> lie. Anyway, anyway. Um, I don't want to say much, but uh, I feel like one of the things that stood out for me was. Uh, um, not including mm, Malawian artists that are based mm. outside of Malawi, okay. which I feel like that's something that we, we we need to celebrate our own, even if True. they're not in the country, right? Yeah. If they're making rounds here, then we definitely need to. I understand that Vida Loka, not many people knew her yeah. until the nominations this came out. Came out. And here's the mic was like, ah, you know, this girl should have been on the list because yeah. she's doing the most. And then people started like looking her up and listening to her music. And she admitted even online saying, I haven't been active on yeah. the scene, but I'm planning on doing that. But I feel like um, there's so many there's so many Malawian artists that in, that are in diaspora. Yeah. And you know what? The thing about making it out of, outside of any 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 nation, you see that even Brenner Boy when he when he's performing in in the UK, is you find there's a lot of Nigerians that live in the UK all that facts. are supporting him. All facts, it's really. not all UK citizens. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the foundation is people from his home right yeah anyway yes. uh gemini major i feel like world is he should have been is deserving of like uh an award at least one down here because it's gotten like south african hip-hop award yeah. producer of the year twice in a row and he's never been nominated one time he's yes he tweeted that he also, doesn't care he's he doesn't also, care he's trying to get a grammy but i feel like yo bro my name has been working he's also he's also he's also never done a show in malawi so but he's performed here several times yeah Yes, he has. Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, he has. He has. I'm not. I'm not taking that away from him. He really has performed mm. in Malawi a couple of times. I mean, we're just mad that he's made so many promises <laughs> that I'm he hasn't mad. kept. I'm mad. I'm I'm very very mad. mad. I'm I'm mad. I saw you guys when you said I'm releasing on the 27th. Really you're like, you're a genius. I'm like, mm. bro, don't speak too soon. Wait for it to drop. No, actually, no. Actually, I went to the co- I went to the to the to the tweet and said I've lost hope because I, I really have lost hope. I really. I I mean, I know he's gonna release and. Bro, like I, I've, I've chilled with so many artists, and I know what it takes to create and to release. Mm. And just prior to wanting to release, mm. the pressure that you have mm. with trying to create a perfect product for for the market, mm. it's, it's bro. And, also, and, and, also, and also, also, and also, and don't, don't also don't take away the label aspect of it, because there's a lot of artists who are signed to labels and. As much as they don't want to release certain music, they won't release it because the label has. Yeah, I also feel like I also stuff. feel like being a producer is his focus is not just his music. Yeah, he's working on other people's music yeah. as well, which is yeah. like priorities. Yeah, as well. yeah. yeah but, so you, think, but sometimes you gotta prioritize on yourself. Yeah, sometimes you gotta prioritize, you gotta prioritize on, on, on the money. But yeah, still on the hip hop awards. Mm. Um, the voice notes. <laughs> No man, I know your dad, bro. I know your dad. I thought you were big shout out to physics. I thought you were lost to big shout out to physics though for like. I thought you were lost to big shout out to you to be educated faster. Big shout out to the big shout out to physics for the nominations. Um, honestly, I think he deserved some of them. <laughs> no, for real. I think it did. I really think it deserves some of them. Yeah, dude. Uh, like, looking at the numbers, right? Look at the numbers yeah. on Facebook. Dog. Ish. But Yo. how do you... How, but how Yo. do we... How he's, do got, we he's got... How do we value... Fan base, bro. How do we, how do we value Facebook numbers? Or how do we... 
No, those are people, bro. Yeah, I know those are people, but like, <laughs> those okay. are streams on Facebook. Uh, the, that's Migos' his home ground, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, no, Migos' his home ground is the website. Is it that the way people go? Oh, you Migos? You started on Facebook, I see. Okay, facts, <laughs> facts. But, Facebook, but, yeah. Palm. But 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 how do we how do we value how do you value how do you value numbers from Facebook, especially? Because we also have people that are on Twitter and they're not on Facebook, and there's people that are on Facebook and they're not on Twitter, mm-hmm. and uh, so sometimes, <laughs> sometimes people on Facebook, I know, sometimes people on Twitter don't. There's a lot of people on Twitter who don't care about Facebook, and there's much. a lot of people on Facebook, and there's who a lot of people on Facebook Twitter. who don't care about Twitter. So uh, basically, for me, I feel like the internet is a very sacred place. No, okay. Here's what uh, I'm gonna say. Here's what I'm gonna say. The post on Facebook is going to have 200 comments. 150, I think, physics. Same post to be on Twitter with 50 comments. 25, I think, physics. That says a lot. It does say a lot. It does say a lot. It right. does say a lot. That's, but, why I, that's why I was congratulating him. That's why I was congratulating him. Yeah, yeah big shout to him. Big shout like, to him. I, I think like he's, he's had a really good year. He's had a very good year yeah. compared to most. Compared to most, and Compared I feel like, most. and I feel like my problem, my problem with like most artists is yeah. they're lazy, bro. Because you know what, these nominations are out, and voting is gonna open soon. Yeah, you find man like physics is gonna have graphics, is gonna have like whole campaigns Everything, promoting. Would you vote for me? Vote for me? Vote for me? My yo, my car did the vice, and I need the dollar. My guy, my daddy, vote Come on, and you're mad when he wins. You and I know, and I know, a lot of people are gonna be mad when he wins because I feel like he really is gonna bag most of those awards easily. And I mean, most of it is is gonna come from the cloud that he's created over the nominations, over the years also, and over the years as well. Mm-hmm. Can't take that away from him. Mm-hmm. Can't take that away from him. But we're always gonna have different opinions when it comes to certain types of music. Yeah, um, I'm not a big physics fan. Yeah. I'm not a big, big physics fan, but are I you, do are understand. You a fan? Huh? I'm I'm not a fan. I'm not a physics fan. I'm not a physics <laughs> yeah, fan at all. But yeah. like I do understand the work that he's put in. I know I know I know you physics. It, I know yeah. physics. Um and I do understand the work that he's put in to get to this place. You understand? And mm-hmm. the work that he's put in his album to get to this place. Mm-hmm. And the numbers that went in, the people that bought the album, these are these are things that we also yeah. understand. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, we'll always have people that don't agree. Yeah. And I feel like also, the numbers, the numbers really go a long way. Yeah. Uh, I saw that a lot of underground rappers were mad. Yeah, the, the, grandfather, the grandfathers of rap. Yeah, hey, yo. The, you know, uh, the, the, the gatekeepers. The gatekeepers of rap, you know. <laughs> like, no, uh, dog, 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 I, I, do, dog, I hate yo. those, I hate those niggas who, yo. who, who, dude. Okay, this is unrelated to this conversation, but I hate those niggas who act like, they know rap more than you do, you know. Like everyone Yo, does. But you know, the guy, you know Jay Z, Jay Z, nineteen ninety seven, nineteen ninety four, nigga. Yeah, man. You know suffix. You know suffix. <laughs> you call suffix a lyricist. Yo, suffix a gentlemen, lyricist. Hey, gentlemen, 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 let's be legit. You hear me? You think I think, I think your favorite rappers. Fa- apparently, your favorite rappers are just spinning and like flipping bars. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't listening to rap in 1990. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently niggas is flipping bars. I don't. I, okay. I feel like rap. There's always gonna be the certain terms, right? Mm-hmm. Where someone says it, and you find even even Skepta does this. He repeats his own bars. Yeah. Right. There's rappers who repeat. Ah, yo, samples, bro. People sample music. You know, you get inspired by something, and then you flip it. Right. I don't. People have writers. Mm. I don't. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But you don't think there's anything wrong it? with someone writing a rap? I, I mean, I mean, don't say you wrote it. <laughs> as long as you, <laughs> as long as you give, you know, credit where it's due. Do. Yeah, uh, it should be okay. Yeah. You're inspired by this, but don't claim it as your own, right? But yo, niggas is big mad for real. Niggas done diss tracks, and you know what? I love to see it because I feel like. They needed a wake up call. And I mean, just because you're the best rapper, it's not enough. You need to be present on the ground. Yeah. People need to feel you. And I mean, like, I'll give an example and straight up, Kananji, one of the best rappers in the land. One best, of the best top, we've ever heard, bro. Five. Like, a cappella on a beat, whatever. Best. Right? But the numbers, one. 
But two. you know what? But you know what? I'm sorry. Let, let me finish. Okay. okay. The okay. numbers. One. Two. I have to feel you, bro. It's like uh, Whiskey and David. People, people have seen Whiskey come from the gutter and rise. So they know his story, right? They feel like they're, they're part, part of it. it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It goes a long way. It does. And for me, personally, Kanaji, one of the best to ever do it. You can't take that away from him. He's dope lyricist. Creative. I've never heard that he flips anybody's bars. Nah, I don't think yeah. so. The, the gatekeepers didn't say he flips. Right. But um, I feel like I just get this feeling over the years from the first time I heard Rolling Through Hells mm. that he's like, hey, you know, then I can rap, you know, but I got a job, you know, eh, on the side I rap. And honestly, for, it's disrespectful for to, to, to niggas that live by this, that wake up every day and then the studio pushing, promoting their music, sponsoring their posts, putting their music out on Mikosi, putting their music out on streaming platforms and you're just out here feeling like just because I'm good but but just because I'm but good I could, then I, but I could make an should, argument with should, you on that, that. Come for everything. I could make an argument with you on that um, good example is physics physics is a working man mm-hmm. but he raps you and you, when he's rapping you, you know he's yeah but he's when Kananji is rapping you know he's in there too but I'm just saying um, at, okay, I'm t- let me just get this right from you. Basically, we're talking about. Well, basically, we're talking about the music just being more than about going to the studio and rapping and releasing the track and putting it on, you know, on putting putting it on streaming and platforms. Having, having your friends listen to it and and, and, and having other. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a fan base. I'm pretty sure there's, there's a lot of people who mm-hmm. who are fan bases, but they're not as big as they could have been if that's all they were doing. Mm-hmm. But my thing is. There's other people who really multitask and do both. They work and then they rap, and the same amount of time. A good example is American rappers. There's American rappers who act, who do chan chan, who got clothing lines, who are models, who do a bunch of things, but it's still the music. That's like the, the tagline is the music. And mm-hmm. at the end of the day, people need to understand that it's more than it's, it's more than the music there's a business there's an industry attached to it you know you need to go on tour you need to you need to put your music on streaming platforms you need mm-hmm. to do photo shoots you need to go to interviews you need mm-hmm. to do radio promos mm-hmm. you need to mm-hmm. newspaper articles do newspaper articles yeah. you need to do a bunch of things to get to a certain level your skill alone is not it's going not gonna cut to it it's, doesn't cut it mm-hmm. it has never cut that's it that's how I was saying people need to feel you you know what I mean they need to feel you. Yeah, but people could feel you. People I mean, I, if, I listen, if I listen to an interview, right? Yeah. I hear what inspires you, why you created a certain piece, why you created a certain album. Yeah. I, I'll be. It'll be easier for me to relate to it because I know the back, the backstory. The backstory yeah. is very important. Yeah. Right. But if you just give me the music, I'll listen to it. I'll love it. But if someone shares me the whole story, they put out the documentary showing you the process of yeah. how to create the music. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna relate more. Yeah. To that song that I know where it came from, how they yeah. made the beat. Yeah. We've seen we've seen so many artists, international artists, that they will show you the whole process from how they made the beat to how they recorded it, to them performing it on stage, to them doing a remix, all of that, yeah. right? And then you just put out a song, you don't promote it, just because you're good. That doesn't cut it. It's not gonna cut it. That doesn't cut it. It's not gonna cut it. But that I think I think it. I think it's time that you know. Yeah. Uh, but like, but but. but <sighs> Can we can we can we give it up? I, we're not gonna finish. I think we're gonna talk about this a little more on the next episode. But I'd like to give flowers to the to the organizers still yeah. uh, for being bold enough to actually go on this journey. Yeah. Because rap from from time has been uh, the rejected stone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but I feel like. What I love the most is the consistency in how they did the graphics for all artists. Yeah. I think that was really dope. I think it was important. Every nominated artist had graphics for it. Yeah. So because most people, like I said, most people are lazy. And you know how, what crazy, how crazy this is that we're like sitting right now and celebrating graphics, bro. Like like we're celebrating I'm like sorry. graphics at an award ceremony. I'm sorry. You know? It's just, it's, it's, but anyway, growth. 
I guess. Growing pains. Growth. Growth. Growing pains for real. But yeah, man, big shout out to these guys. I think they. We'll, we'll talk more on the next yeah, episode. Yeah, wish, wish them all the best. <laughs> wish them all the best. Wish uh, them all the best. What I would say yep. is. Uh, for those that have been nominated, congratulations. Mm. For those that have haven't been nominated yet, uh, let's keep putting in the work, and you know, let's take criticism. We know, we know, even for the organizers, exactly. you know, like when people, people are gonna always go, gonna going to shade. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just take the positives out of it. You know, be objective, yeah. and, and you don't have to. And as an artist, you don't have to comment on anything. I think so on too. everything, not yeah, anything, but on everything. You don't yeah. really have to like. You don't have to go to the studio. You don't, you don't have to go. No, you can't go to the studio. If you're mad. Just, Actually, you need to go to the studio when you're mad. You need to go to the studio when you're yeah, mad. But don't, don't don't send voice notes and stuff. <laughs> you know, just check your W's. You know, live with it. You're gonna win the awards. We know you're gonna win. We know. We know you. You deserve the awards. Yeah, we know? hope you do. Yeah. No, he does. He does. He sort of kind of does deserve the award. One more thing oh, before we move into Monday. Okay. Uh, no, no. Why? Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, omissions. Do you do you think anyone was left out? Who do you think was left out? Who do you think shouldn't have been there? I know it's. I think it's very important for us to talk about that. <clears throat> I think. Uh, Epi. Epi had a good year. Mm-hmm. Uh, might not be the best year i mean for him he's it is. actually this was his best year yeah i mean for him yeah, yeah personally it was yeah. yeah but yeah this is keep keep going <laughs> keep going <laughs> he should have been he should have been there somewhere <laughs> but i'm like, I'm like where, <laughs> where you but, where you <laughs> yeah but yeah yeah man's been yeah. putting in work yeah but like like we said sometimes the work is not enough you have to you have to put in a little, a little, a little just extra. A little extra. Uh, so yeah, omissions. Um, yeah, who else? Like I said, La Vida Loca, Gemini Major for me. Should have been there. Yeah. Uh, King Tuzi. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gemini should have been there. I think Gemini should have been there. Most definitely. Uh, but sing, sing. Also there's, there's, also, sing there's also, also, there's also, there's also a debate that he's not hip hop. Uh, so, bruh, what? Hey. He's not a rapper. Yeah. But a producer? Hip hop? Okay. He's okay. not. I'm glad I'm mm. actually yeah. Okay. I'm mm. actually I'm actually glad that you said that because mm. we need to distinguish those two. As a producer. As a producer. Yeah. As a producer. Definitely. La Vida Producers, Loca. Yeah. I think it was too soon. I would have yeah, really loved it if soon. she was yeah. in there, mm. but I just think it was just like a little too, too soon. soon. Yeah. Um, Cuz she's even new. She's Grams, very very yeah. new. She's been very new in the UK. She's fresh out of jail. She literally just got out of jail. Yeah, yeah. I'm not just got, no, out, of just jail, got out of jail, but like she's coming from jail. <laughs> so, so yeah, bro. We're like, hey, yo, I, be careful, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she got you, but but yeah, um, I think I think Jemba, I think Jemba should have been there. Um, personally, for me, the biggest one, and I'm not gonna have to wait to say this. Um, DJ hype, bro. Yeah, yo. DJ hype, bro. That that that, that DJ that category. broke my heart, bro. That, that, that DJ hype, that, that whole DJ category is a lot. Yeah, yeah. this this I, I don't, I don't think, think the whole DJ category was trash, bro. What <laughs> DJ are gonna fuck? <laughs> Wait, I don't, I don't think the whole DJ category was trash. I think. Yo, man. Who's, think, who's, who's, who's on the DJ category? Uh, VJ Ice. Yeah. We've got that? Shorty there. She's not. She's not. She's not. She's not. Who's not? Who's not a hip hop DJ? Wait, she's wait, not. Wait, wait, she wait, she wait, does wait, play hip hop, but wait, she plays Billboard wait, 100 hip hop, which is still hip hop. She's yeah, bro. Wait, yo, there's okay. Just just because we listen to different types of hip hop doesn't. She doesn't play hip hop. She plays hip hop, bro. Sometimes she plays hip hop. Sometimes. Anyway, anyway, hey, goes, hey, hey, it's hey, a mix. Hey, hey, hey. It's Move, a mix. But me anyway, me but anyway, I think the DJ category was a little weak because we don't really have a lot of DJs that DJs specialize in yeah, certain type yeah. of genres and the play. ones that do specialize please just give them their flowers like Let's hype, do hype, plays it. hype plays a lot of hip hop bro mm-hmm. actually hype there's no DJ in Malawi who's been playing who's been playing hip hop the, like no. hype over the past year period yeah. facts easy bro yeah. easy bro beats buzz and culture twice in a row hip hop come on man you really need to give this a man like that you know, you really need to give man like that his flowers. Hey, yo, hype, we'll get him next time, it. man. 
<laughs> get him next time. Get him next yeah, time. Man, keep real, it, but keep like, moving and keep it pushing. But you know bro. what? It's like, I feel like I feel like if you're not nominated, yeah. if you're not, don't don't give up. Don't yeah. quit. You know. Just be inspired from it. And, and, one, like, and, and one thing, and one thing, I think before we move on from the from the awards, um, there's I feel like there's certain artists who put out music, but they don't put them on streaming platforms yeah. but they've got other avenues where they put out music and mm. the music gets to the masses mm. easy there's a bunch I don't think Seven or More is Seven or More on Spotify <laughs> I don't I, I'm, maybe he's, he could be but I don't think he is but his music still reaches a certain demographic there's, there's so certain much, places yeah. where his music get to hey. and that's the reason Imagine why go. Was easy. Well, that's the reason why Eesh. this guy is is, 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 is is here and I've, I've heard a lot of arguments over the last couple of weeks where they're like, oh no, but like there's other artists who don't have music on DSPs, but these guys are here. Oh, there's other artists who get played on the radio more, but they, the music is not out there like that. Okay, there's other artists who who who, are, who, who get played, who, who've got a lot of plays on DSPs, but they're not nominated. They've got, so I think at the end of the day, um, the awards, the, the awards still need to be explained a little more. I don't think they, I don't think they owe anyone an explanation, but they actually do owe a lot of people an explanation on the criteria and which, it, which it, was done. What was? Yeah, during the announcements. Yeah. What What was the criteria? Well, you should ask the organizers. <laughs> Yeah, but there was there was. Oh, a, but yeah, okay, there was, okay, yeah. There was but I just, I mean, I mean, yeah. a little more clarification because there's a lot of people who really don't understand. There's some people who who think it was off streaming. There's some people who think it was off cloud. There's some people who think it was off. There's a lot of this. Actually, I know people who don't think Hazy deserves some of those awards mm-hmm. easily mm-hmm. because most of. Most of the attention he got was off Conquer. Conquer. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people who think Conquer is not the music. Mm-hmm. And then there's people who know or like who understand or who get the concept. You know, but anyway, this is not I'm this is not I'm not trying to get into that. But I think the clarification is still very important. I feel like people still need to understand like what exactly goes into planning an award and Cause like for a lot for 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 a couple of years we've been we've been going through the same shit where we hey, dog. I'm just I'm just we, glad we've got something else other than the UMPs and them <laughs> them things. Honestly, I feel like we're moving, bro. Honest for me, I, I, I mean, feel like them shits. Yeah. Is it enough? Is them things. Is it enough? No. There's, there's, we have a long way to go. We do. We have a long way to go. We do. But it's something. It is something. Can we move on to what? New music, bro. <laughs> new music. What do you mean, bro? We've been, like, <laughs> we've been out for two months. It's like, yo, we don't have new time. New music, though. two we don't months, have time, bro. Though, bro. New yo, music, two geez, months. But yeah, geez, man. Geez, geez. yeah. Eli Juchi has announced uh, that he's dropping uh, an album in Eli December. Eli Juchi Stan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. Uh, he's releasing a, a, an album, yeah. uh, the book of Eli. Eli. Eli Njuji is releasing the book of Eli. Eli Njuji. Eli Njuji is dropping Eli, the book of Eli. Depending on where you grow up. <laughs> what school you went to. <laughs> no jokes. <laughs> yeah, uh, excited about that. Very excited. It's been a good year for him. Is, is, it, is that still the hike thing? No, no, no. Did that happen? Yeah, I think that happened. Did it happen? I don't do okay. yeah yeah classic is also uh releasing an album this month hey i uh, say before we move on mine a big tune elan oh yeah, yeah, yeah what huh what no, what what huh? what what <laughs> dope okay dope yeah. second biggest song out of malawi this year after my plan. I'm glad you admitted it. I'm glad you because the other day like mine is the biggest tune of the country. You're like, 
Anyway, when I'm on you got to normalize changing your mind because hey, it's boys. very important. Sometimes, uh, you know. Then it's all for guys and guys. Then you want to go, boys. Eh? Man, I go in, sir. But yeah, Bayern is he's had a very he's very had a, yeah, he's had, like he's had a good year. I, Yo, hope, I hope I've never seen I've never I seen this I've, I've never seen EMP awards <laughs> all of them I all hope of he gets them it. Yo, bro, <laughs> I hope he wins best hip hop award at the EMP <laughs> <laughs> Best R and B, best dab, bro. Hey yo, best logo, yeah, best dab, yeah, yeah. because all of that. Design of the year. Uh, uh, yeah. Design of the year. <laughs> <laughs> wow, bro! Wow, bro! Yeah, but yeah, man, it's had a pretty good year, man. Yeah, yeah, good year. I've never, I've never seen, I've never seen it come up so big, bro. Yeah, in Malawi, facts. in Malawian history, facts. As far as I can recall, facts. Yeah, he's in a year. In a year, he's done he's so much. Done so and, much that uh, a lot of grandfathers of. And you know what? Of, shout, <laughs> shout, shout out to Toast. He doesn't get enough credit for. Yeah. Uh, putting, putting him, him on, on. Yeah. oh yeah facts for shout real out shout, out to, shout out to Ron these guys yeah. I feel like Ron and Toast yeah, Ron you know is what? like you bro. know about the nominations I yeah. feel like the awards I feel yeah. like we should have had director of the year video director video of, the director of the year oh yeah I think it's important, important. next time next time let's have yeah. that yeah facts yeah. facts facts that's something that we yeah. I know we know they've, they've been they've been putting in the work they've been facts doing the thing facts for real we know facts for Ron from time VJ bro yeah man facts David Page bro from time man <laughs> yeah, I do, I do. <laughs> but yeah man yeah man but hey man it's good to be back very good to be back yeah hope you i'm glad you enjoyed it <laughs> i'm glad you enjoyed this episode uh we're back officially uh shout out to zones alive as usual yeah man uh we didn't break up yeah, even though they didn't release the second episode of the Sneaker Sneak Exchange, exchange. Yeah. Yeah. Trash. Trash. trash, trash, bro, trash, bro. Don't say late, yeah. trash, bro. But like, what, 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 what I really love to like talk about everything, but like, there's just been a lot. So, yeah, but we're here now. We're here now. Stop yeah, clowning. It's, it's like you gotta, yeah, you niggas need to stop clowning, bro. Niggas need to stop clowning. It's yeah, just, it's like niggas. Yeah, need what, to should, what should people look out for season two? <laughs> yeah, hey, yo, 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 hey, hey. You remember that time we had Q here? Hey, we got a lot of feedback from that, eh? We're gonna talk carry on that, that story. Yeah, season talk two. About that. Yeah. There's a lot to talk about. We couldn't yeah, even like, unpacking to we, do. Could, we couldn't even talk about everything on this season. On this episode, I think yeah. like we're gonna talk about the Malawi Hip Hop Awards a little more next time. Yeah. because uh, I, th- I, I think I feel, that's I feel, very I feel like we're gonna have more of the people that have been nominated. Exactly. Those that have exactly. been nominated. We're gonna have those that are gonna win. Yeah. Those that are gonna lose. We need a breakdown the of organizers. The, yeah. Everyone. The breakdown of the awards as well, like category after category. Yeah. Because I feel like yeah. I feel like what we should do more is ask questions than give opinions. I feel like if you have questions about the awards, yeah. Before. Are you telling me how to do? No, my I'm just job, saying. Nigga. No, I'm just saying, bro. 50-50 here. I'm just saying, before we give an opinion, let's ask questions, yeah. right? And I feel like everybody should do the same. Yeah. Like, before you criticize, before you point a finger, yeah. ask questions. Ask for clarification. Normalize ask for, ask for, ask for, ask for Ask for the criteria, yeah. and then, if that doesn't make sense, then you air out your views, yeah. right? And don't take it personal when people criticize. Don't yeah. take it personal when your, we've, your we've, advice dog, is not taken. Because like sometimes, sometimes you give, you, you like, you, you you give your opinion and you think that should stand yeah. but it's not gonna resonate with everyone so but, but, allow but, allow yeah. when people don't because even for us bro like I feel like we've like been li- like hearing a lot of feedback from like a lot of people over the past two months and yeah. it's always been interesting like every time we go out and niggas are like yeah man we've heard it all man your I show is shit you know what uh, your, show, your show is boring your show is boring also uh, also we are sorry you had to go sorry. through sorry <laughs> yeah yo hey yo man it's been a lot of podcasts that have come out since yeah, we left man. Yo. oh big shout out to all the niggas that are dropping podcasts as well I think yeah, it's very good luck important. now <laughs> no no we're back it's a competition, bro. We're it's trying to win those awards. I also saw that Joe Budden got a got an award. I want my award next season. Out here, but yeah, man. Big shout out, big shout out to you guys for always, uh, for always tuning, tuning in. in. Yeah. Uh, surprise drop. Apologize. Put, putting up with this. Yeah. Apologize for not, you know. Character. Apologize for. Uh, nah, I ain't apologizing for shit. 
Sorry, not sorry. Can't be apologizing to you. But yes, it's very very happy to be back. Yeah. Very happy to be back. Big shout out to Zones Alive mm. for, you know. Mm. Yeah, man. Sticking to the plan. Sticking to the plan. Mm. Sticking to the plan. Big shout out to Zalo so Arts for always hosting Big us. Big shout out to Zalo so Arts. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Uh, new art. New art, new color, yeah, new, <laughs> new set, colors, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. man. Big like, shout out to uh, like a thief in the night. We're back. Facts for real. Mm. Facts for real. Make this sure you coming. check out. Uh, nice merch too. Thanks, man. Uh, our, uh, our merch. I don't think we'll, it's gonna be on the market anytime soon, but exclusive. You know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, man. You're not trying to make money, huh? I am making money. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> <Chill. laughs> <laughs> hey man, hey man, hey man. Have a good night, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Hey, right, we out. One time. One time. <laughs> <laughs>